Hey there you guys, how's it going? It's me, King Miltank, and welcome back to Ask Miltank. I believe this will be episode number 14. So, why don't we get started? So, first question from Fefe Dede. Hello, my good sir. Uh, I wanted to ask her, do you have play Overwatch? If not, do you plan on buying it and maybe do sub games? Oh, I'm guessing you mean sub subscriber games? Yeah, sorry. That's what you mean, um, later down the road. Thanks. Well, cheers for the question, dude. Um, Overwatch, no, I've never played it, and I honestly, I don't intend to. Um, in all honesty, I don't see what the hype was all about because I, if, I mean, I, I literally, I went over to a friend's house and I, and I did play about literally f five minutes, and I was just like, well, isn't, it, you know, isn't, isn't, isn't this, isn't this just like just, just your, your average like deathmatch sort of thing? And I just, I just didn't really couldn't get into it. Um, yeah, I find I found the game a little bit. You know, I, I I found it a bit dull, really. Um, but that's that's just my my humble opinion. So unfortunately, dude. Um, uh, no, I will not be getting Overwatch. It's just I just can't really seem to to, to um, get into it. I'm afraid. I don't worry. There are plenty of other channels that do it, I guess. So um, uh, and I will be doing other different games. So you know, it's all up to um people's cups of tea uh, at the end of the day. Uh, so the first qu next question is from Mediocre Panda 87 Hello, good sir. Uh, best story you've experienced in a game? Well, in terms of recent memory, I'll probably go for... I'll, I'll go for Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. I did play this for the channel a while ago. Um, so if you want to check it out in the... Uh, uh, in fact, yeah, I'll, I'll put the um, the playlist in the uh, in the, in the uh, description so you can uh, check it out if you haven't already. But uh, yeah, I'd say that's probably uh, it's most... The most recent one I can think of, anyway, definitely the best story because it's just an ama amazing story. It's just very sort of it's quite realistic in a way in terms of like it wasn't a, a complete happy ending, even though I know that you had to sort of find the tree of life to to heal your your dad. But uh, I mean, the, like um like if a dad it ends up living, of course, but then you sort of you lose your older older brother. Older brother gets like he gets stabbed in the freaking chest, and you're like. Okay, well that that happened, and then yeah, then he actually dies, and then it, it's just quite you know it's quite it's quite a bleak story actually. I, I I quite enjoy those sorts of stories. I don't really enjoy the whole the hero always wins and has a happy ending. I think that sort of that uh, that fantasy trope is getting a bit. It's so definitely um definitely wearing a bit thin. I think. And the next question is from uh, Mr. Mini Matt. Uh, now a new question: Can cans can cans well I suppose can uh, cans can can but uh, of course they need to cans um, you know the cans need to can so in in regarding in regards to can canning uh, then I suppose the cans can indeed can and the next question is from a jelly snakes uh, in five words sum up your life great work as always well thank you very much dude and and he did have another question but it was a MLG death scene and I ser I searched it up but I don't I don't know what it was about. I, I got very confused by it. Um, I just I don't quite know how to do that at all. I'm not sure how to do that, so I had to go for the next question instead. So sorry about that, man. But at least I'm trying. At least I'm trying to answer uh, questions there anyway. Uh, so yeah, five words sum up your life. Uh, word number one, probably uh, very uh, fortunate. I just I've had a very good life. Really, I haven't really had any like really traumatic experiences. Nothing really that serious, really. It's um, we're very fortunate. I had a good upbringing. Parents, they they love me. I love them. Uh, I've got a good, a great bunch of uh, brothers and sisters and friends. And you know, I'm in the I'm in the UK. UK is a good place to live. So yeah, very uh, fortunate. Uh, word number two. Yeah, word number two. I'll probably say I'll probably say uh, introverted. Because I'm a bit, I, I, I consider myself to be an introvert. I just tend to keep my feelings to myself. Uh, I'm not that good at actually showing emotions. So I don't tend to sort of. I, don't, I just tend to. I, I do tend to keep it all, all inside. But I like to sort of spend time on my own most of the time. And you know what? I'm very happy doing that. I love my friends and family, but I just. Um, yeah, I do. I do prefer spending time just doing things on, on my own or in very um, small groups of of people. That's just the way I've, I've always been. And uh, I just figured I might as well. I can't change who I am, so I might as well just accept it. But then again, I'm just happy, happy doing my own thing. Uh, word number three, or maybe phase, a uh, phrase, and maybe uh, I think I'd say probably like always working because I just love to work stuff. I've always, you know, my first job I was like 15. I think I just turned 16. Um, 
I was 15, 16, it was, just, it was the first ever job, and ever since then I've just always wanted to have, have a job, so I've always been in work, I just love it. Um, I'm a very work-heavy guy, I keep, I mean, my work-life balance is extremely imbalanced in favour of work, because I'm just always doing something, and, um, but it's just the way I, it's just, it's just the way I am. I, I always consider myself to have a strong work ethic. Do you know what, I'm really quite, I'm quite struggling, because I've sort of, I think I've covered a lot of ground in the words I've already said, so, um, I, honestly, I can't think of any more. It's just my life just been it's been very fun. I guess I've been uh, I've always like played like um, video games. That's where my that's where the channel sort of begun because I just love playing all sorts of games for the, for the, for the, for, the, for, the, for this channel and hopefully um, people enjoy the videos and that's what matters. I guess um, fun. Uh, you know, there's been some sort of uh, there's been a few uh, hiccups along the way, but that happens to a lot of people. It could be a whole lot worse worse for me. So. I don't really want to complain about it at all. I, I don't think I should. Uh, so I, um, that's pretty much all the words I can think of. Really, really dude. Uh, sorry, sorry about that. And there we have it, guys. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this video of uh, of episode 14 of my Q&A. Uh, I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, if you've got any more questions, please put them down in the comment section below, and I'll be answering them sometime next week. Um, yeah, thank you, guys, uh, once again, and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye, bye, everybody.